to the artist detective where we examine the lives and art of the great artists. I am Rembrandt, your host. Yes, I am the Dutch master from the 1600s, known for my Bible scenes and portraits, use of light and expressions. Many famous artists from the Renaissance were Italian, but today I would like you to meet a German Renaissance artist. His name is Albrecht Dürer, and he lived from 1471 to 1528. Like me, he did a few self-portraits. You know, I do love portraits. Oh, that's right, we are not here to talk about me. So welcome, Albrecht Dürer. Guten Morgen. My name is Albrecht Dorr. Can you say my name? Albrecht Dorr. Albrecht Dorr. I grew up in Nuremberg, Germany during the Renaissance era, a time when many people were coming up with new ideas and inventions. My father was a goldsmith, so I learned from him how to use gold in jewelry and sculptures and how to engrave. I, Ghiberti, also had a father who was a goldsmith and taught me goldsmithing. That was very useful for my life work became sculpting and casting in bronze Bible scenes for the doors of the Baptistery in San Giovanni in Florence, Italy. I, Fra Angelico, also worked and lived in Florence, Italy, painting scenes of the Bible in frescoes on the walls of my friary of San Marcos or as altars for chapels. My signature style is bright colors and real gold leaf for things like halos on the Holy Family. Yeah, your works are beautiful, Huberti, as are your paintings, Fra Angelico. More than goldsmith work, I loved to draw and paint. I had the opportunity to spend some time in Italy after my apprenticeship with Michael Valgomut. Were you ever in Florence? That is where I, Giotto, started the Italian Renaissance art era with my realistic three-dimensional paintings of people who even showed expression and emotion rather than the flat, expressionless Byzantine art of the early church. Nine, I was not in Florence, but in Venice. Too bad you did not come to Florence. We might have met. I, Michelangelo, also painted many frescoes, and I am best known for painting Bible scenes on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. But my real life is sculpture. Good choice, my friend. Gentlemen, I would like to talk about myself today too, but we are supposed to be learning about Dor. Give him a chance to tell his story. Danke, Rembrandt. Then I returned to Nuremberg and I opened my own workshop. I focused on making prints, using wood blocks, and on drawing and watercolor, not frescoes. Sorry, gentlemen. This is a very famous print of mine. As you can see, it is a very detailed print of a rhinoceros. I made many prints, drawings, and watercolors of religious topics as well as of non-religious scenes. See here my print of praying hands. and one of my apocalypse prints of St. John beholding seven golden candlesticks from the book of Revelation. I became famous in Germany and all over Europe because of my prints. I had a patron named Maximilian I. He commissioned works 
which means he paid me to make prints for him. Later, I became influenced by the writings of Martin Luther, the reformer who nailed his 95 theses to the door of the church in Wittenberg. You know of Martin Luther, yes? I had been Catholic, but I greatly appreciated Martin Luther's love for the truth and all he did to help me overcome many difficulties. I wanted to make a portrait of him, but I did not get around to it. I did make portraits of other men who were influential to the Protestant Reformation, like Erasmus and Philip Melanchthon. I did a number of portraits, in fact, including a few self-portraits. This one of me at age 26 shows the Italian landscape behind me and the influence of Italian fashion in my clothing after my first visit to Italy. And here I am in 1500 when I was 28. I, Norman Rockwell, an American illustrator known for my Saturday Evening Post covers, pinned this to my canvas as an inspiration for my own self-portrait in the 1900s. Your self-portrait reminds me of my elongated figures. I am El Greco, the Greek, who lived a few years after you. Let's review about me. My name is Albrecht Dürer. Now you say it, Albrecht Dürer. Albrecht Dürer. 1471 to 1528. 1471 to 1528. German Renaissance artist from Nuremberg. German Renaissance artist from Nuremberg. Wood carvings and prints. Wood carvings and prints. Drawings, watercolors and portraits. Drawings, watercolors, and portraits. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you for joining us on The Artist Detective. We look forward to seeing you next time when we investigate the lives and art of other great artists like me and Dürr. Remember that Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, God has made everything beautiful in its time. Until next time, Rembrandt and the Artist Detective.